In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export and import members onto your membership website. Coming up. So there are cases where you may want to import members onto your membership website. So this could be maybe a situation where you have all your users on your mailing list and you want them onto your membership website or you were using a totally different membership plugin and you decided to use wishlist member. So let me show you how to do that. So to do that, what you want to do is to, um, in fact, let's head over here to setup or just to the dashboard so we can start from scratch. Okay, so here on the dashboard, this is pretty much the, you know, the, the starting place. So what you want to do is to come over here to members. And this is where you see these two options to either import or export. So in this case, uh, we want to import members onto our website. So here we have a sample CSV file. Now, this is very important because if you don't use the format that we have here in this sample CSV file, basically it won't work. Now, trust me, I've tried this a few times and it's given me sleepless nights. That's because I was trying to be all clever and not follow this CSV file format. All right, so I'm going to click download here. And now you can see it's, it has been downloaded. Now, you're going to need a program like Excel, Microsoft Excel. Or in my case, I am going to use a free option, which is Google Sheets. All right, so I've gone ahead and downloaded the uh, CSV file. So in my case, I'm going to use uh, Google Sheets because... It's free and uh, I don't have Microsoft um, Excel on my computer. All right, so what I normally do here is I start with a blank page. So I'm gonna click here on blank. And then the next step now is to upload this file that I've just downloaded. So I'm gonna come over here to file and then click open. So next I'm gonna come over here to upload and then I'm just gonna find my file on my computer and this should be in my downloads folder. I'm gonna double click on it. Okay, so now it has been uploaded onto my Google Sheet. So the next step now is to match or just map pretty much my content with this format that we have. And usually all you need is these few tabs. So I normally use the username, the first name, and the email. Okay, now that's very important. You have to do it in this way. So let's try some dummy text here. So let's go with the username. Now the usernames could be email addresses. Now if you use uh, let's say, for example, an email service provider, you're going to get usernames and sometimes you get them as first names. But in this case, I'm just going to use my email. So let's use Malone00 at gmail.com. Okay, so that's going to be the username. And then that's also going to be my email. So I'm going to come over here to this email column and paste my email like that. Now, the first name and last name is not really necessary, but let's just add our name here, Malone. Now, the password is also optional, so you can add the password here or you can just leave it as it is. Now, all these other fields, I basically leave them as they are, unless you're running a website where all this information is very important, and that is the state, the zip, the city, and so on. But if you just want a basic way of adding users onto your website, this is how you would do it. So let's just add another one here, Mac at creativeastro.com. Okay, I'm just going to copy this, add it over here. And first name, I'm just going to say Mac. All right, so we have these two users. These are the users we're going to add onto our website. So now it's time to export this. So I'm going to come over here to file and then I'm going to come over here to download. Now it's important that you download this as a CSV. So here it is. I'm going to select that. And now it's being downloaded onto my computer. Okay, so now that I have my file, it's time now to import all my users that I've just created. So first of all, I have to choose the CSV file. So I'm going to come over here to choose file. And here it is. This is the new one. I'm going to click open. Now you can add a default password to all these users because sometimes you may want them to just uh, have access to sign in when, as soon as they get notified. So you can choose if you want to do that. Okay. Now over here, it says import members into following levels. Now this is really cool because you can say, okay, I want all these members into this specific 
level. So in this case, I only have one level, but if I had several levels, I could choose those other levels to add these users to. So in this case, I'm just gonna add free audio as my level. Now required fields, I have the first name, so I'm just gonna make sure that one is added. And then over here, use registration date uh, spe specified, you know, doesn't really matter. I'm not really bothered about that. Skip row with duplicates, you can just leave that as it is. And pretty much all this here is fine. So the last part here says notify new members via email. You can also notify them that they have been added onto that uh, membership level. Okay, so now that I have this all set, I'm gonna click on import members. Now over here, do you see where it says no username is detected in row one? These are the type of errors you're going to be getting if uh, things are not working okay. So I intentionally went in and did that. So what I'm gonna do now is to come back over here and uh, just add this then make sure I don't have any missing lines. So I'm going to hit Command X to cut it and then paste it over here. All right, so now I don't have any gaps. So I can now go ahead and download this. So I'm gonna come over here and download this as CSV. And that's the new file now. Okay, so back over here, I'm gonna choose my file. And here it is, the latest one. I'm gonna click Open. And then I'm gonna set myself to the free audio level. I'm gonna add my first name because I really need that. And pretty much that's all I need. So now I'm gonna click on import members and this time it should work. And you can see now we have important two members here on the bottom. And this is where you would see the queue of what is happening on your site. And it looks like everything has gone well. Now to confirm this, all you have to do is to come back over here to your dashboard and you should see that now we have three members. So pretty much the process is very straightforward. Now let's double check and see if these members have been added to the right level. So I'm gonna click here on uh, the three users and we can see here they have been added onto the right level. So this is Malone, free audio, and uh, we also have Mac at Creative Astro also on free audio. And these are the emails as well. And these are the usernames. So pretty much this is how you add your uh, users onto your membership website. Now, let's say you want to export these users. Again, uh, this could be maybe because you want to make sure that you store them somewhere else where if something happens to your site, you may want to go and uh, get those files. But to be honest, it's not really necessary to do that because you can just back up your site. But anyway, I'll show you how to export it. So to export, you can just come over here to export. You choose the membership levels. So here we have free audio and then you can export full data. And then you can also include, uh, include the passwords if you want to uh, or include inactive members as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and export a full data. So with that selected now, I can just click here on export members and this will download that CSV file. And let's take a look at this CSV file as well. So I'm gonna come over here and click on file, open, and I'm going to upload my file. So I'm gonna come over here and here it is, I'm gonna double click on it. And this should show all the members that we've just exported, okay? So now you can see here that this time we have Mac admin. So this is what we've just exported. And just to, to see, this has been populated now with even more data. You can see here uh, the added level, uh, the level itself is here as well. And we also have the transaction ID, active and so on. But of course, this is not really necessary. But this is how you import and export your users onto your membership website. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when new videos are available. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.